Hello, welcome. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I'm going to show you how you can integrate uh, Google reviews into your Wix website. So let's get started here. Uh, so we're going to use this uh, client's website. I'm going to go to edit site. This is uh, on Wix Studio, but I believe it can also work on Classic Editor. So it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be very easy to set up, but just so I'll give you an idea. Normally, you want to use full content if you're using Wix Studio. And for Classic Editor, it will be just Edit Site. So once you go to full mode, all you have to do is um, <clears throat> add an app. And then the app is what it takes a little bit of time to set up. But it's super simple. So let's do that part. Okay, so once your uh, website is loading or it has loaded, sorry. Uh, you're going to go to the App Marketplace, Browse App Market. And then right here, you just got to type Google Reviews Pro. Then click Enter. And it's going to be this one. And it's also free. Uh, as I, I know right now, it's just like installing the app. There's no payment or anything. And you should already have your Google review uh, account or Google My Business account. So because we're going to connect it. So then from here, you're just going to add to the site. And what it's going to do is just going to agree to all these uh, steps. And once it adds the app, it's going to open a new dashboard. So this will be on the back end. <clears throat> from here, you're going to see this information. So you can have your business email or contact information, whatever you prefer. This is just, um, I'm just going to use this email and then the name of the website. So her website name is Gloria Rizales. And then here you'll type her phone number or the phone number of your business. So let me see if I can find it. And so that'll be there and then finish setup. So once you do this, uh, you're going to see something like this. It will display you the website and then you're going to click open widget page. Once you're here, you can set the visibility to be on. And then right here, you're going to click connect your Google page. So it should look something like this. Connect to Google Business. And then once you do that, it's going to turn into connect to Google Business again. And then it's going to open this with a list of all your emails. What you want to make sure is that you select the right email that it's associated with your Google My Business account in order for you to find it. So we're going to select this one. And then it's going to give you this one. Uh, if you already connected it somewhere else, it's going to give you this. But it's fine. You can just click Continue. <clears throat> And many, uh, many times it will just go straight to connecting, like what just happened now. So as you can see, uh, it's going to have a name of the account that you set up. Uh, and it's picking up the account on the website or the whole weeks. And then right here, if you have multiple uh, Google My Business accounts, like if you manage multiple accounts, it's going to show everything that it's on the email. That's why I have many here because um, I used to manage Google My Business accounts, but um, I no longer do. So the one that we need is this one. And then all you got to do is click uh, connect. And then once you do this, you're going to just click the button sync reviews and it's going to import all the reviews. So here you can do approve reviews manually. So if you do this option, you can select which uh, reviews you want to show. If you want to just approve all the reviews, you can just click approve and then yes, approve. And then, then it's going to ask you to give a feedback to the app, but don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. And that's it. So as you can see, you have already uh, one review here. So now let's see on the actual website. So 
So we're gonna go back to the website and we're just gonna click publish. And then we're gonna visit the website and it should be visible now. So as you can see, now you'll have this panel right here and then you can open it and see the reviews. Uh, so very simple. Then if you wanna customize this box, all you have to go is back to the box and you're gonna go where it says widget. And then you can click customize and right here, you can also do a different design. As you can see, something that matches your item. You can also select a different type of banner, something like that. And then you can also change like the type of logo that you want to use. Again, use something that you like, and that's it. So once you do that, you just click Save. Yes, yeah, save it. And then you can just preview it. And then like that. Uh, so as you can see right now, I have this little chat because I'm inside the app um, for the for adding the thing. But on the actual live site, you shouldn't see that. You should only see the little widget. There you go. And then on mobile, it's going to look like this. So it's going to be at the bottom like that. So again... Uh, hopefully this is something that can help you in your business. And if you have questions, let me know, but this is super simple to do. So hopefully this, uh, again, can make it easier. Again, uh, just make sure you install the app, sync everything, and that should be it.